Starbucks, you hydrate yeah. properly? Something to drinking? Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. My hands are bloody because we just finished uh, taking care of some wounded from the last battle and I haven't had time to wash them. Well, that happens a lot. We're here today with Doug Sly of Field Lazarette uh, GD. Uh, Doug, do you have a first person uh, name or impression? I use the name Dirk Gebhardt. I uh, portray uh, Starbarst. Starbarst, sorry. Which is Got some Russian gunfire. It's equivalent to a Hopman or Captain in the Medical Corps. My, uh, the Germans use different color for to designate the um, units they're in. I'm wearing cornflower blue trim on my Blitzen and on my collar tabs. I also have the cipher for the medical. Uh, designates that I'm a doctor. Doctor, a doctor, morphine. Morphine. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was trained in boot camp to fight as a soldier on top of learning how to be a doctor. I could go out with combat troops and uh, perform medical procedures right on the battlefield if I had to. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what is the equivalent rank in the American Army? Captain. Captain. Yes. Just like uh, the most services, the doctors are officers. So what type of training do you have? I would go through extensive training for medical, and I'd go through the military boot camp and learn to fight as a soldier, too. Now, what does Field Lazarette GD, what does that actually mean? That's Field Hospital for Gross Deutschland. We are attached to the Gross Deutschland Division, and are, they're our primary um, people we take care of, but we will also take in other wounded from other units. We're not going to turn anybody away. All right, uh, what other, other than the surgical procedures, what other responsibilities would a captain in the medical corps have? Well, at this field hospital, which we would set up anywhere we can. We might use tents, we might go into an abandoned church. Here we got a cabin. Nine. Besides treating wounded, we are going to try and prevent disease. Um, we would check the water supply. We would try to make sure that the troops have clean water, provide food for them. Um, we also check the latrines and make sure that there's a sanitary thing going on, try to stop the spread of disease. type of support staff would you have now? Oh, I have a medical corps. Um, we would have sanitators, which are medics, stretcher bearers, and um, they work for directly for the Wehrmacht. And I would have DRK nurses, civilian nurses. Hello, Starbots. Here's two right here. Are you taking naps? <laughs> Long yes, it is. <laughs> A good day. 
Cold? Cold. What would be the uh, size of the, uh, the, the, the staff that you would have? It would, it would number over 100 normally. Um, normally there would be a company, three platoons, and each platoon has their own uh, mission. One's transport, one would be more like a pharmacist and have the supplies, and the other one would be more surgeons and actually the doctors. And it would be supported by NCOs and illicit men. As far as surgical tools, we would have all the latest uh, tools available. Uh, obviously, in a combat situation, if we got to evacuate, you know, we're going to evacuate everything we can. But hopefully, I have the tools I need. If I don't, we're going to uh, improvise. We're going to do the best we can for the sold dots. Keep them alive till they can get further in the rear and get into a full hospital. So you were basically involved in everything for the well-being of the troops to keep them in the top fighting yeah. condition. Yeah, every health issue we take care yeah. of, we, we deal with that you can dream of. So then would, what would be uh, your uh, the next rank below you? As Stab Arts, I'm in command. I may have a couple other surgeons with me that would rank at what we, you would call lieutenant and second lieutenant, which they have the, assist, the name of assistant arts or Oberarzt. The arts is on all our titles and that's in German doctor. So anybody in the medical corps, I wouldn't be called a Hopman, I'm a Stabarzt, just to show that I'm a medical officer. <laughs> reenacting standpoint, are there a lot of people that are doing this type of impression? No. Um, there's people that do medical and run around as sanitators and medics and nurses, but we're trying to create a, a larger look at it where we're mixing the DRK nurses with the medical corps. Like the real, it really was, and we want the unit to grow as large as possible. Men and women, possibly have families too, just as civilians helping out. Um, that's our goal. And if somebody was interested in doing this impression, how would they contact you? Contact me through my email, and it's slystrat at cox.net. That's s l y s t r a t at cox c o x dot net. Very good. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Um, I'd like to thank uh, Fifth Viking, um, Ninth this S. Hohenstaufen, and uh, Fifth Company Gross Deutschland reenactment units for supplying the stretcher bearers and awesome wounded actors. So we hope they keep coming out with us. And we'd love to have every unit come out and supply wounded. Everybody's having a fun time doing it. Ready? Ah! <laughs> right That's going to make you feel good. After the skit, I like to go out in the crowd and see if I get any volunteers for getting getting a shot. And I so far I haven't got any. <laughs> 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 ah. <laughs> so anybody that's real picky, I'm going to say, hey, without, this is an infantry hat. And one of my friends gave it to me when he died. Right. No, oh. stop, sorry. <laughs> see if you can you get down. Hello. There you go, like that. That's cuter. Just both come in at the same time and go, stop, stop, ah. <laughs> all right, all right, well, uh, and I'll turn and I'll go, here's two of my nurses. Oh, okay, so you just come in at Yeah, we're just goofing, yeah, we're yeah. just making it light, we're having yeah. fun, too, yeah, right. all right? Okay. We gotta have fun. Yeah, we gotta make it fun, we're not gonna get you sick too serious. Give us a word, and we don't come in. All right, we're I done, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All our patients died. <laughs>